protective styling and detangling my hair correctly are probably my two top secrets for growing hair long and healthy it's been less than four years since my big chop and i am past bra strap length guys so please watch this video up to the end if you want to know how to correctly take down old cornrows or just learn how to detangle your hair correctly if it's matted or has been in a style for too long i'm taking out my cornrows that i've had for three months yes you heard me right three long months um so as you can imagine there's shed hair there's you know all sorts of things happening in my hair there's collected dirt etc so we're going to take this down correctly reducing breakage and reducing damage as well i post new videos every wednesdays and saturdays mostly about natural hair so consider subscribing if that interests you click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos and thumbs up this video if you enjoy it let's get into the video It's finally time for me to say goodbye to my trusted friend, the headband wig. This wig is a lifesaver. If you're a lazy natural that likes to up and go when you want to and do not like to be, you know, controlled by a bad hair day, then this is a must have. Three months ago, my cornrows were fresh and juicy. I actually had a weave on top of these cornrows and after I took the weave out, I ended up keeping my cornrows for an extra month, bringing the total to three months having these cornrows. So my hair is matted. There's a lot of shed hair in there. I have been washing my hair as much as possible and of course deep conditioning since I took the weave out, but still there will be some dirt and gunk stuck in that hair. And can you see that growth, guys? I mean, <laughs> who doesn't get excited with a takedown? Anywho, my plan is to take these cornrows down as safely as possible. And I've done this before in a video where I showed you how I took down um, two month old cornrows. I'll put a link above if you guys are interested. But anyway, the first thing that you want to do is lubricate the hair. So I go ahead and spritz my hair with water and some oil, not too much to shrink the hair or to cause it to be very wet, but just enough to give it a little bit of flexibility and also lubrication. Straight away, you want to start taking your cornrows down, starting from the tips or the ends of your hair and working your way up. Um, you can use combs at this stage, but I try as much as possible to just use my fingers. And what you're doing is gently separating the hair um, and pulling it apart so that you unravel the cornrow. In this time, you also want to try as much as possible to remove any shed hairs because the shed hairs are the cause of breakage and just a whole lot of other issues if you don't do it properly and also early on in your takedown so as you unravel your twists just make sure that you pull gently you pull the shed hairs out releasing them and um, almost like lightly detangling your hair if you know what i mean you find that the perimeter of your hair which is obviously your edges and your nape usually have quite a bit of gunk dirt stuck there so i put a little bit of oil extra oil and extra water just to soften things up a little bit and then gently start to tag up the hair to sort of release the hair the shed hair and the dirt as well without any breakage this process is slow you have to take your time and just gently do it especially when you get to the edges don't rush this process because a lot of breakage can happen at this stage and you will find that your hair remains at the same length and then you will complain that your hair doesn't grow meanwhile it is growing but you're just not paying enough attention when it comes to taking down your cornrows or detangling correctly enough said I don't know if you can see, but I've got these little white spots at the back of my um, hair, which obviously are a sign that, you know, lint, 
dust, dirt, dandruff, shed hair has collected at that particular spot and it's very vulnerable for breakage. So you don't touch that, you leave that alone and I'll show you how to take it out a little bit further in the video. So keep watching. Meanwhile, I just want to talk about the growth that's happened through that three month period. Because my hair has not been detangled for a while, there's a lot of matting at the roots. You'll find that you can't actually separate your hair at that particular point. Um, all the way through my cornrows, the base was just so matted. So, you know, I usually just leave it alone and I deal with it once we have a lot of conditioner in there, which is the next step. So I've got this little, these little sachets that I got, I can't remember who from, but they were sent to me and I've got heaps of them and I decided to just use them. So, so you don't have to use this particular um, detangler, conditioner, whatever you want to call it. You can actually use natural products and in my two month video, I share with you a slippery elm recipe um, that you can use to detangle. I just wanted to use this product, you know, so I can get rid of it, if you know what I mean. And yeah, to be honest, I wasn't liking it. So we're going to see how it works eventually. But what I'm doing here, guys, is just squeezing that product into my hair. I am not really detangling, especially at the roots. Um, I'm sort of freeing my hair of shed hairs towards the end but I'm leaving the base alone because that conditioner needs to work before we can even think about detangling the base of our hair. I am saturating the base, especially um, the base of my hair with a lot of conditioner and you want to work it through and it's a little bit different um, when you're working it through this time because you're not really sort of rubbing it in you're kind of squeezing it in so that it goes in between the gunk in between the notes in between the shed hair to loosen all all of that madness that's going on in there and then you know aid in a better detangling session and also less breakage so win-win when your hair starts to sound like that you know you've done enough it's now time to apply heat and to let that conditioner work so I put my plastic cup on and I'm using my trusty hooded dryer attachment to help me introduce heat to my strands. And that heat activates the product and starts to loosen the dirt in between, you know, all the matting that's going on. So I sit under this for about 30 minutes and then I just walk around the house for another 30 or so. And then we're going to come back and see how everything's going. If you don't have a hooded dryer attachment, not to worry because you can actually use your blower directly on your plastic cap or you can place a plastic cap over your hair and apply a warm towel to that plastic cap and then cover the towel with another plastic cap that is going to do the job anyhow here we are about an hour an hour and a half later the knots have pretty much melted all of a sudden it's much easier to get in between that matting at the base with my fingers and start to loosen things up a little bit and finger detangle so obviously i am finger detangling as much as possible before i can go in with any tools and this is very important guys if you want to retain length if if length is your goal and health to be honest fingers are your best friends once I'm satisfied with the work of my fingers, then I go in with a tool. And the idea is to start at the ends and work your way up the piece of hair until the, the hair is fully detangled. After that, twist it up and move to the next section. You want to make sure that the product that you use has a lot of slip and I can't say that this is the best product I have ever used with regards to slip but it does the job and I think the introduction of heat really helped 
and as you can see my curls are really looking hydrated and super defined because of the moisture so you know it can't be that bad it's not my favorite product but it did the job once again finger detangling separating the hair with my fingers um, running my thumb from the base of my hair all the way up to the ends um, and then going in with a tool and if you guys are interested in um, this tool that I'm using it's from a company called cosmetology and this is their I think it's a detangling detangling brush I believe brush or comb one of the two it's almost like a comb but not really and it's not really a brush don't want to confuse you but if you guys are interested in a review or an unboxing of that one let me know in the comment section moving on remember the nape of my hair that was just full of those white bits that had gunk and dirt and shed hair in there well all of a sudden i could tag at it very easily and release the shed hairs and so goes for every single part and portion of my hair once the conditioner and the heat touch it it saves you time it saves you hair because <laughs> all of a sudden you're not fighting with your hair it sort of just melts in your hand and makes things much much easier for you to deal with so definitely use a conditioner and heat if you want to do this well i just love how easily this brush releases hair like shed hair etc it's just so cool to see you know you don't have to fight with the brush anyway i digress <laughs> I wanted to just show you something really interesting my hair has got i think three hair types or textures i don't know what you want to call it but that little section at the ends or at my actual nape looks like type 4a guys look at that one the one i'm pulling now look at that that can't be 4c and then you've got the the next uh, kind of piece of hair that kind of looks 4b and then the rest comes down as type 4c which is super interesting to me a lot of people say to me your hair is not 4c well once your hair gains length and once it has a bit of weight or hang time <laughs> like others say um it the, the curl starts to loosen a little bit and it, it all of a sudden doesn't look like 4c hair so yeah believe it or not it is and just like that guys our hair is fully detangled it's juicy the curls are popping it's getting ready for a wash and all you need to do is follow your routine as usual which i would probably say wash deep condition and style and of course before i go i have to show you my shed hair my three months of shed hair guys <laughs> is this too much is this kind of normal how much do you guys sort of shed in any given period i'd love to hear from you guys comment below and be sure to subscribe click that notification bell if you are new to my channel and interact with me guys i would love to hear from you guys i hope you've learned one or two things from this video until next time bye